the JWL architecture is divided into main three tires that is client tire, server tire and database tire. Client tire holds the logic of how the entire application is can be interact with the user or how can user interact with the entire system. Server tire consists the main logic of how the entire application works and the database tire holds the logic of how the data should be fetched and displayed to the user. For example, uh, if you want to search any particular video on YouTube, YouTube, you just simply enter the topic. How you enter the topic is the work of client tire. How you interact with the YouTube is the work of client tire. How the video will be shown to you and how the all other suggested videos will be shown to you is the work of server tire and from where the actual the content, the video content will be shown to the user is the work of database tire. Application logic. Application which is divided into three client tier, server tier, and database tier. This kind of application is known as three tier architecture. The application logic is further divided into following tier client tier, server tier, and database tier. Application logic is the main logic of any application or system. For example, if you consider YouTube, the main logic of the YouTube is to display videos to the user according to their demands. Next slide, this slide shows the J2E architecture. The first part is the client tire or client machine. The second is J2E server tire or server machine and third is the database tire. As you can see in the diagram, client tire consists of application client and dynamic HTML pages. Server tire consists of JSP pages. Uh, servlet pages can be also there, EJB Enterprise, Java Beans pages, Java Server pages, Java Mail pages, all other components can be resized in this tire and the third is database tire which holds the data. Client tire consists of the user interface for user request and print the response. Client tire runs on client machine and client tire basically use the following components of client side Java applet, Java application and Java web pages. So ultimately client tire has the logic of how the entire application can be interacted with the user. How user will be communicate with your system is the work of client tire. Second is server tire. Server tire consists of web tire and business tire. Web tire consists of the JSP that is Java server pages and servlet dynamic pages to handle the HTTP specific request to logon sessions and access the business services and finally construct a response and send it back to the client. Business tire consists of the business logic for the G2EE application for example enterprise Java bins. The advantage of having a centralized business tire is that same business logic can support different types of clients like browsers, web and other standalone applications etc. In other words, having a centralized business tire, uh, user can interact your application from any different screen sizes whether, is, uh, whether he or she is using your application from browser or web or any other standalone PC. The logic remains the same. The logic remains the same. Database tire that is enterprise information system consists of database management systems or relational database management system. The difference between DBMS and RDBMS is that uh, relational database management system defines relationship between data where DBMS does not have a relationship between data. The benefit of using RDBMS is the data integrity which you cannot have in DBMS. It handles the user's SQL request and generates appropriate response based on queries. It is also responsible for communicating with external resources such as legacy system, ERP system, messaging systems like MQ series, etc. It also stores all persistent data in the database. Persistent data data is not for temporary basis. 
it stores data in in permanent basis